Um, this is just a, a point of information, but um, Félix Fénéon, uh, who's one of the most interesting characters in the whole history of uh, the 19th century, actually wrote a series of um, art pieces of art criticism dedicated to the working class in our goal. And um, they exist. And they are totally incomprehensible, uh, as far as I can see, to anyone who is not an expert in the algo of the period. And we're, I think they're the only pieces of art criticism so specifically aimed at a particular uh, non-erudite class. Mm. And I just think that should be pointed out because it's typical of mm. Fénéon to do something so um, totally anarchist in a way, mm -hmm. I mean, as mm -hmm. doing that. Thank you. Um, yes, this um, woman on the uh, aisle there. Uh, this, I guess, is to uh, Ward. I'm, I'm wondering how is it that Fénéon could maintain his credibility considering what he did for a living. I'm not quite sure what you mean. Uh, I think you explained that he went through civil service and was working uh, in the War Department. How does that square with all of his anarchist activities? Yeah, it was always kind of ironic that he was working in the War Office and he did get in trouble, uh, particularly after the, the, the trial of the 30 and so forth. Um, but he, even, uh, he eventually leaves uh, uh, the world of literary, literary and art criticism. He kind of abandons it and he lives a very long life. He dies, I think, in 1940, is it? Yeah. yeah. Um, and for 40 years, he basically didn't, uh, wasn't involved in, in that activity. But, it, but in the 1890s, um, he was such a good clerk that it was very difficult to get rid of him. 